What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a little bit of pike and shot for you today. Been meaning to get this kit for quite some time just to add to our Imperial forces here. So happy to get this one. So it's the Curassiers uh, for pike and shot. So again, not um, not for black powder clearly. Um, but anyway, so uh, 12 guys in here. So multi-pose, hard plastic and metal 28 mil cavalry. So taking a quick look at the back before we get in. So this is basically what we would get in here. Um, so we get our 12 part multi uh, or 12 multi part metal uh, cuirassiers. The horses are plastic here, so um, a little bit of assembly there, uh, but no no big deals there. Uh, plastic bases for everything. A uh, little background guide, which is always nice. Um, and then um, the cool thing too is so yeah, this uh, the seven um, the full color flags and everything like that. So uh, easy to cut out and uh, work with. And uh, if you're setting up like the standard bear or something like that. Uh, really just takes your unit and makes it a little bit nicer on the tabletop. So, uh, like I said, we've been looking forward to getting these guys. So we're going to get this open up here for you guys, sorted out, and then we'll take a look at all the components. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We got everything opened up here for you. So we got quite a bit of little stuff in here. So we'll start off on the plastic side. So we get three sprues of four horses each here. So um, pretty simple affair here. So uh, pretty good detail. Just uh, snap together, uh, put the heads in there. Um, and it's got some extra pistol bits and stuff to decorate the models with basically just to show you know that you're Packing that brace of pistols. So good stuff there uh, We get one sprue of bases here So depending on how you want to mount them some individually or some on the uh, the 50 mil uh, square bases uh, So probably some combination of that um, And you'll you'll end up with some extras uh, no matter how you slice it really but um, good stuff there so that takes care of that. Um, then uh, onto the metal side here. So uh, again, we have our 12 riders um, and pretty much all the same here um, with some armor variations. Some have open face helmets, some have the closed one. Um, and basically everybody's got their left arm sort of in that um, that pose there with basically then you choosing uh, weapon options for the right arm. Then we got this fancier guy here with uh, his hat with the feather and everything. Um, so depending on what you want to do there. Um, and then various little rep, uh, weapon sprues. So we got um, uh, a couple with pistols, Some uh, one guy using the pistol as a uh, bludgeoning tool there, a couple of war hammers and some more swords, and again, pistols there. And I think if you want to do a banner of some kind with uh, the lance and stuff here too, so I think there's different options on how you can equip there. And again, the, the 12 riders there. So a little bit of cleanup work to do on all of them. Um, so probably a little bit of filing work, just you can kind of see that here. Um, some flash lines and stuff like that, but overall pretty good detail. These should be really fun and uh, simple to paint up. And then um, our little insert here. Um, so we have our little background blurb here. So just um, on cuirassiers in the uh, sort of continental armies, um, brief stat line here. Um, interestingly, I guess you could field the same models potentially in black powder. Um, uh, or at least I don't know if this might be a typo here though, uh, the way they have that listed because uh, pike and shot is just pike and shot, not black powder pike and shot as far as I'm aware. Um, but anyway, pretty good stat line. So eight in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they're pretty nasty, really great morale save. Um, and then the heavy cavalry was pretty cool too, so you just add one to your combat result all the time as well. On the back side there, a little bit on their use or this type of unit's use in the English Civil War. And then our banners that we have here. So again, um, half of them focusing on English Civil War and then some on the Thirty Years' War there. So um, pretty good stuff overall. Kind of wish this would have been a gloss one. Some of the um, kits do include uh, like a glossier uh, paper for uh, some of these things. So I think that would have been a little bit nicer or at least maybe have that on a separate sheet or something. But it's still very much serviceable and the, you know, the resolution and everything's good on here. So... Um, and oh, then Croatian cavalry thing there. Um, a lot of little uh, history blurbs here on the side. So about that, that's that's a nice uh, little touch. I always like when Warlord includes that. Uh, same thing here. So again, overall, really great kit. Um, at some point, it would be nice just in general, uh, especially for the Pike and Shot range, uh, if Warlord would kind of just create like an all plastic kit somehow. Um, so, you know, you have the horses here already in plastic um, and really, you know, just to maybe more differentiate different units for different nationalities or things like that. Um, you know, something like an upgrade sprue probably could be created somehow. Um, but then um, coming up with some sort of way to make um, sort of a multi-part plastic uh, rider's kit 
that could accomplish uh, as many different uh, types of units as possible. Um, I think that would really be nice going forward just to um, have something like that. And then that would all really allow for some easier kit bashing and creative builds and stuff like that. But that's just a, not, that's not really a complaint. That's just something that would be nice uh, to have in the future. Uh, but Pike and Shot just doesn't get uh, as much love as some of the other games out there. So um, maybe maybe in like Pike and Shot 2.0 someday, right? Fingers crossed. Um, that being said, if you guys know any other um, manufacturers that produce something similar to Curiosiers in all plastic, hit us up in the comments there. But also just uh, what do you guys think about this kit? Um, have you picked it up for your forces? Are you guys playing uh, more English Civil War or are you playing uh, more 30 Years War? Um, how have you painted them up? We're basically using these guys for our Imperial Army, so these guys are, these guys are definitely going to be Black Riders. Um, so it's going to be fun and hopefully pretty quick and easy to get these guys painted up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, for you guys here, then we can start throwing up some 30 or uh, 30 Years War Battle Reports in Pike and Chop for you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, really satisfied with the kit. This should be pretty quick and simple uh, to get um, ready and um, then ready onto the tabletop for you guys. So uh, hit us up in the comments. Um, like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And if you guys do want to support the channel even more, um, check out the link in the description there. Um, head on over to Warlord from there, and anything you guys pick up comes back and helps support the channel. So we really appreciate that. Um, and in the meantime, guys, stay tuned for more Pike and Shot content. I know we don't have that much just yet, but we got more coming. We're working on a bunch of things there, and then we'll see you in the next one. Take care.